What we have in a snow runner that nobody uses. Maybe they don't serve any purpose or maybe there is just a better alternative that everybody uses that. So let's see the top 5 most useless things in a snow runner. Number 5. A small beds. So I think the majority of people use the smaller trucks for scouting or helping another trucks with refueling them or repairing them. But using a small bed instead of that on a smaller trucks are a bit of a waste. Because first of all, you cannot pack any cargo that requires two slot bed. There are some trucks that support crane and a small bed. So maybe you would carry something like metal beams around, but you cannot deliver them because you cannot pack them on that small bed. And delivering one cargo at the time doesn't seem to be the best thing that you could do in this game. And overall, I don't think they are as good as other add-ons in this game. But there is a chance that you might use them in the game. So that's why they are number 5. Number 4. The Dead Axle So there are some trucks that have these dead axles that I think that dead axle helps you a bit with stabilizing your truck. I'm not sure about that but I think they do make your truck a bit more stable. But the problem with them is they really make your truck to get stuck in some situations. Because of the fact that no power goes to that axle, you get stuck on some obstacles in the game that trucks without that axle easily go over them. And in a game that you would face so many obstacles, having that dead axle serves you no purpose. So not only the dead axle not help you, but it also causes you problems. And that's why they are number 4 on this list. Number 3. Cat TH-357 The Forklift Unfortunately, this vehicle is under the shadow of the cranes. So let's compare this forklift to the cranes that we have in the game. For the cranes, you don't need to bring a whole truck just to use its crane. You can just have the crane and bed combination on your truck. But the forklift, if you wanna use it, you have to carry it around and that's not that good. And it gets even worse when you actually get to use the forklift. Using the crane is way easier than using the forklift because it's more forgiving. You can attach the winch of your crane to the cargo and just do anything with it. It's not gonna detach. Nothing would happen to that cargo, you know what I mean? So whatever you do, that winch is attached to that cargo. But it's not the same for the forklift. You have to be very careful when you're picking up a cargo. And I think they designed the forklift to pick up the cabins in the game. But even for picking up the cabin, cranes do a better job than the forklift. And even for picking up cars and putting them on the truck, steel cranes do a better job. Okay, now number two, Cat 770G. Sadly, you can only use this truck for one contract and that's it. There is nothing else this thing can do. It doesn't have many add-ons, you cannot attach trailers to it and that makes it really useless. Personally, I really like this vehicle and the task you had to do to unlock this vehicle was a bit better than the other ones. You had to basically bring a spare parts and tires for this thing, which was very cool in my opinion. But it's really unfortunate that there is nothing to do with this truck. I wish in the future they release more contracts for this truck so we can use it more often. Other than that, there is nothing much I could say about it. Really cool, unique truck but it's completely useless. Okay, before we get to number one, I wanna do a special mention. And the reason it's not actually on the list, because it is actually really useful, but in this situation, it's not. And it's when you can only have one crane without anything else on your truck. And I'm not talking about heavy cranes, they're actually good. But there are some trucks that you can have a normal crane on them, but without bed or saddle high or low. And it really makes it useless. Because if I want to bring a whole truck just for its crane, I would bring a truck with a heavy crane. It's way better and it's way stronger. Okay, now number one. I actually don't like to say it, but all the highway trucks. Unfortunately, highway trucks are not even close to be as good as any other type of truck in this game. So the moment you unlock off-road truck, 
or a heavy truck you would use that instead of any of the highway trucks that we have in the game and i actually really like them especially the western saw it's so damn gorgeous i really like to use it but compared to other trucks it just it's not that good i hope they show more love to these trucks because we already have them in the game they are cool good looking trucks and just make them just a bit better than what they are you know i don't want them to be the best trucks in the game it doesn't make sense there are highway trucks but at least make them a bit viable at least make them as good as something like international hx 520 or some truck like that and i do use western star 57x every now and then because of the fact that i really like that truck but every time i use it i have to spend so much time in areas that the off-road truck or a heavy truck would go over it way quicker than this truck but at the end i really like highway trucks i just wish they were a bit better than what they are right now and i hope they buff those trucks a bit so we could use them but unfortunately i have to say the most useless thing that we have in the game are highway trucks and that's it for today's video i see you in the next one